In Two Faces, three bedroom, two and a half bath suburban home, we join our villains celebrating the 43rd birthday of their good pal, Killer Croc. Wow, Two Face, you did a great job slaughtering those street orphans that were living in that abandoned house and taking it for yourself. Thanks, Ivy. It was a bit of a fixer upper at first, but after getting some interior decorating ideas off of Pinterest, I think it cleans up pretty nice. I'm just glad we put this party together for Killer Croc, especially since he's going through that whole Midlife crisis. Yeah, I heard from the Mad Hatter he bought a motorcycle. Animal! Doesn't he know motorcycle fatalities make up nearly 13% of all motor vehicle crashes across the nation? He's just throwing his life away. Oh, uh, hey, 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 guys! Confound it! Who invited Kite Man? Penguin handled the RSVPs. I thought I burned his invitation. I brought snacks! Oh man, he brought kale chips! God, I really hate that guy. <laughs> we all do. Howdy ho, lads! Croc, are those new jeans? Looking pretty tight on those scaly buns of yours. <laughs> oh. Hey, Charles. Why are you here? Oh, you know, thought I'd stop by and wish a happy birthday to my favorite college roommate. Why that's for you, Cretan? I don't know where those hands have been. Okay, just... Just stay in the corner and don't screw anything up, alright? I won't do anything, I promise. Cross my heart and hope for diabetes. Tanks or tanks? Oh no! Stop, drop, and roll! Fire extinguisher kite, go! <laughs> what are you doing, man? Oh, mama! Water kite! Activate! My... my crack house! I was just about to pay off the mortgage! Dang it, kite man! This is the fourth time you've done this! Technically, last time it was a synagogue, son. I don't care! I'm done with your attitude! Look! You're making Croc cry on his birthday! <laughs> My mom is still in there! On top of that, you always act like you're better than us! Well, have you ever actually defeated Batman? Of course! Well, I mean, it's a matter of semantics, really. Plus, we all know that no matter how bad we are, we're still ten times more effective than you'll ever be. This is unbelievable! You really don't have... Any expectations for me? Fine. I'll just have to show you up. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> You'll all see. Now, if you'll excuse me, my Uber is here. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Bad Cave, we join our voluptuously thick protagonist, desperately trying to warm his living quarters using any possible means he can. Due to such tremendous debt, he must resort to extraordinary measures in order to provide for his gay roommates. Hey Batman, have you seen my deluxe size shake? Wait, what, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Robin, go back to bed. It's two in the afternoon. Ah, but it's not a leap year now, is it? That doesn't even make any sense. Batman, what, what are you, why, why are you burning my stuff? Okay, look, man, do you know how hard it is to heat a cave? Okay, that llama farm I invested in really put us into some tremendous debt. You just, you gotta do what you gotta do, fam. Sir, there's a black man on the phone. He says his name is Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller? Out of my way, you! Bruce. Amanda, finally crawling back to me, I see. Guess chocolate really is better with vanilla. No, you incompetent snowflake. I've been happily married for the past ten years. Wait, but we only dated three years ago. Not now, Bruce. I'm here to inform you that we have some pressing concerns. Oh, regarding our relationship? Have you ever been sober? You know, I ask myself that every morning. No matter. Just meet me at Cafe Salmonella at 7 o'clock. Alone. Can I bring my viola? She didn't say no! So, I guess he just couldn't resist the blazing Caucasian after all, huh? Let's cut to the chase, Bruce. Recent intel suggests that a man by the name of Charles Brown has been recruiting the most dangerous D-list villains to have ever gotten free off a misdemeanor down at the local shopping center. Wait, hey, so Charles Brown, 
His, his name is literally Charlie Brown. The 13 villains with their combined power are incredibly dangerous, as we've never dealt with them before. Hey God, I think we're breaking some copyright laws here. I mean, how have his parents not been sued by Charles Schultz Here's the yet? data that our research team has accumulated thus far. Huh, Calendar Man, King Tut, Eraser... Wait, have, haven't I seen this guy before? Yup, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. He turned to a life of crime after being annihilated by the Donald, taking on the persona of the dreaded Zodiac Killer. He's still a senator, of course. So, you want big old Batman to solve all your problems? Pfft, typical government! However, we are prepared to offer you a substantial amount of money as compensation. Uh... Or, we could give you the deed to another llama farm. Now you're speaking my language! Now, can I escort you back to my mansion? You have a girlfriend. What, is that a problem? In Kite Man's downtown studio apartment. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming to this meeting. If you want snacks, I have some baby carrots and quinoa in the fridge. So, as you all know, it's clear that the other villains have zero respect for us and the fine work that we do. The only way to show them who's really boss is to beat them at their own game. What do you mean by that? So we expose the Batman. Isn't that what the other villains have been trying to do for 78 years? Yes, however, Batman doesn't know us yet. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. I don't know if I'd be good at that. You see, most of my expertise revolves around pennies, because I'm the penny plunderer, see? Nobody cares about your penny fetish, man. Things just haven't been the same since they switched from copper to drink. So do we actually have a plan in mind, or...? Well, I figured with everyone's combined brilliance, we'd be able to come up with a scheme not even the Batman could foil. I suggest we burn down an orphanage and rub salt into the eyes of any remaining survivors. And how does that relate to killing Batman? I don't know. You tell me. You play boy bunny wannabe. At least I actually have a job. You work at the cheapest back alley brothel in all of Gotham. Get out of my face before I rip out your tongue and shove it all the way up guys, your- Guys, guys, arguing isn't gonna solve anything here. And who are you supposed to be? An opinionated game of Twister come to life? Excuse me? Jokes bro jokes a lie jokes 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 JLS part 4 just a prank bro haha. <laughs> A lie. I bet that gun isn't even loaded. Well, it's not a gun. This bloodthirsty senator is about to fry you up like bacon. You're all going to be chafing from my sand for- Good weeks. luck with that. <laughs> I have the <laughs> dexterity <laughs> of a zebra. Pennies! What? What? I swear to God. I better be getting paid for this. Hey, why don't we, uh, kidnap the mayor? Demand to see, uh, Batman or something. Wait, 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 wait. Shamu might be onto something here. Meanwhile... Uh, Alfred, do you know how to use this onion browser thing? I'm trying to get into the dark web. Why would you want to get into the dark web, sir? That's illegal! Well, if I'm gonna defeat the dreaded Kite Man, I'll need an underage Pakistani boy to enslave and follow my every command with 100% commitment. In other words, I'm looking for another Robin. Hey! Ooh, hot singles in my area. Well, alright, if you say so. <laughs> Wait a minute, these aren't hot singles! Ha ha, you just got catfished, you incompetent fruit. Loop. I'm a hot single. Silence! Now pay attention, Batman. We have something to show you. Ew. Alright, look man, we've got a very strict agenda to follow here. This is how it's gonna go down. Either you reveal your secret identity to the public, or we kill the mayor. Ah, um, okay. Wait, wait, really? Huh. You know, none of us ever thought we were actually gonna get this far. Ah! Yeah, I mean, we don't actually want to kill her. Ah, oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God! Whoops, now, man, just like Jeb Bush. Yo, you just assassinated the actual mayor of Gotham. Well, like I know I'm a terrible person, but I, I don't think I can let this slide. I, I'm friends with the one percent. I, I am the one percent. So. What are you gonna do about it? Meet me in Gotham Times Square, 5 a.m. on the dot. Bring some Vaseline. Oh, well, I mean, we do outnumber you 13 to 1, so... Yeah, I'm fine with fighting you. Works for me, fam. Sounds good to us. Don't be late, Batsy. 
Batman, do you know what you've done? They're a team of 13 people. They'll crush you in a fight. Oh, you're right, Robin. Dang it. You know I can't resist me a good meat beating. What will I do now? I may have a suggestion. What the dude? Batman, what are you doing in my house? Even villains should get to rest, man. It's like four in the morning. Yeah, but I woke up at 6 p.m., so this is like the middle of the day for me. All right, Batsy, what do you want from us? Well, basically, Kaiman recruited a gang of lowlifes who have a bunch of lame powers, but could probably take me on all at once. Kind of like one of those, uh, you know, would you rather fight a medium-sized cheetah or 100 alley cat situation, you know what I'm saying? Well, why do you need us? Well, I mean, I was gonna see if you guys could maybe, uh, help, help me, help me, help me fight them, maybe? I mean, I, I don't Recruiting know. villains to fight other villains. You sure you won't get sued by David Ayer? Oh, trust me. <laughs> We've taken care of him. I can't wait to show you all of my toys, Mr. Ayer. <laughs> so what do you say? Oh yeah, totally. We'll help you guys out. Wait, wait, uh, really? Yeah, of course. We hate those guys. Oh, well, I mean, it works for me then. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to pay you. Oh, well, you still can't. Nope, it's been settled. Let's move. In Gotham Times Square. Now, this is a particularly interesting piece. You'll see. In 1943, pennies were actually created from steel in lieu of the wartime shortages of copper. This well, this was a stupid idea. Yeah, no seriously, who thought it would be a good idea to have this fight at five in the morning? Still, though, we must stay on high alert. We will not lose to Batman this time. We have to show the other villains that we mean business. Damn, would you please just shut up already? He's almost here! According to my calculations, he has arrived. Looks like he brought a few friends. What? Impossible. Shut up! You catch good gas mileage! Wah. I'm surprised you showed up. I am as well. But let's be honest, this is what we've really wanted this whole time. Batman hired the likes of you to fight us? Batman was busy with his, uh, sister-in-law. Whoa! Kick his teeth in! Batman, are you sure you don't want to join the fight? I mean, I, f I feel like sitting here and watching the battle from a cheap hotel room is a bit cowardly. Uh, shamelessly hiding behind a mask for my own advantage is pretty cowardly too, but that hasn't stopped me yet! WHOA! BREAK HIS LEGS! Alright, my fellow patriots, there are a few ways we can do this now. One, we can either drop our weapons and settle our disputes with a friendly debate, or we can sign a peace treaty that will help us see both points of- ah! Get him, lads! Destroy them! I'll give you three to one odds Bane curb stomps Polka Dot Man until he literally coughs up his own kidney. I think I'll take you up on that. Ooh! Alright, alright, double or nothing. Catwoman claws out Calendar Man's throat and uses the blood to- Hello, Batman. What? <laughs> My Pakistani slave boy- I, I mean, I mean Robin! Ah, time's up, Batman. Let's see who's the real D-list villain. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do, shank me? Now would be a great time for Alfred to show up. Oh, yeah, you want some of this? What? You want some of this? Yeah, taste the wrath of Papa Alfie. <laughs> All our lives we've been cast aside. Could lame, boring, gimmicky even. But you see, 
This has allowed us to live amongst you and observe from the shadows. We know everything, Bruce. Boy! We see you. We study you. We know you. We are you. <laughs> well, that was kind of underwhelming. Oh, I hate you so much. Hey, come on, dude. I'm the Joker. I make jokes. I don't understand. What made you want to come save me? Look, Batman. I know I'm always tripping over myself trying to kill you and everything. But the truth is, I don't know what I'd do without you. You complete me in a way. I could never live without you. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. I don't even know your name. Anyway, I gotta go. I have a reward to collect. Welp. Guess I'll die! Amanda Waller is a man of his word.